Hello everybody, how y'all doing today? I hope it's been a good day for you. It has been for me so far, not too bad. Yeah, the, the winds are finally starting to calm down a little bit, but yeah, all night they were up um, pretty um, high and everything. My allergies were flaring up even this morning and so forth, but it seems to be calming down a little bit, so not, not as bad, but we're, they're still calling for uh, possible low temperatures for Halloween, so fingers crossed <laughs> that we will get some uh, nice cool temperatures for Halloween. It would be nice to have that wonderful feeling. Uh, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, first up is the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us. Uh, bottom of the deck is the first card, uh, the th number 33 card. That's the 33 card. All about that mastery basically you know the com combination of that vision and that architecture and actually building okay um it's uh the horse spirit freedom is yours makes perfect sense with this being a 33 card all right next card from the top of the deck is the number 27 card that's a two seven card the fox spirit think on your feet Okay, so yeah, you have that freedom, but remember, you got to also think on your feet, and so that way you can keep your freedom. All right, last card, also from the top of the deck. Interestingly, the number 66 card. So we have the 33 card here doubled, basically. Um, that's the 66 card, by the way. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. I know, and what's interesting, if you look at that, pretty much have, you know, this one here is, I uh, know you can't see it very well. This one here is looking at these two guys. This one is looking right at you. Hey, let, reminding you, think on your feet. And this one here reminding you that freedom is yours. Okay. All of that added up to nine. Uh, definitely ending of a cycle. All right. Just like um, with, what, with yesterday's reading, all together adding up to nine. All right. Okay, next up, uh, I was called to today is the uh, Herb Crafters Tarot. The artwork is by by Joanna Powell Colbert, and it's written by Letitia Guthrie. Okay, all right. And with this one, I do a uh, sp uh, spirit wheel um, reading. First up, from the bottom of the deck in the east position, which is the new beginning. Interestingly, and it's right below this card, <laughs> the number one card from the Major Arcana, the Magician, Sunflower. Okay, so definitely trust in that magic for your new beginning. In the south position, what is driving your passion is the Nine of Earth, which is the Nine of um, Pentacles in the traditional deck, the Apple. All right, again, another magical card. The reason why I say that is when you cut into an apple uh, along its equator, you reveal the star that's in the middle, which has a lot of magical healing properties to it, okay? Apple is also representative of love, generosity, and so forth. So definitely um, what will help fuel your passion, less like with the south position, and give you strength and everything, is your love. Okay, um, and the west position, which is uh, your emotions, seven of water, which is the seven of cups, the birch, which in the traditional deck would be the seven of cups. So definitely with your emotion, emotions, be open to those infinite possibilities. All right, what will help ground you in the north position here, the madre of earth, which is the um, uh, uh, queen of pentacles, creosote bush okay and, and with creosote bush you know it, creosote bushes really flourish pretty much anywhere in the desert where there's not a whole lot of nutrients and so forth creosote bushes flourish okay so and and also with uh, creosote bushes that it is said that it has healing properties and possibly may have um, um, properties that will help aid with the treatment of cancer, okay? So definitely all about nurturing, you know, um, with and, and healing. So um, that, and that's what's going to help ground you is your healing work, being open to community, helping to nurture your community, helping to heal your community, while at the same time healing yourself through 
your love. Okay. And in the middle, all about you, the self, Ace of Fire. This is from the top of the deck also, the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands, Mulian. So basically, yeah, being the light, following your light. You can see here with the Mulian, where it grows upward, just like a, and then up there at the top are the yellow flowers, looking like basically, um, a, 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 an inflamed torch <laughs> you know basically a torch you know where it is on fire you know on top they used to use those you know to help see their way through you know dark places and so forth definite that's what this is all about okay so following your light all right no knowing yourself going inward you know of course doing your healing work work connecting with love not only you know love of people and so forth, but most importantly, love of yourself, figuring out who you are and what you're most comfortable with. Okay. And like I said, doing your healing, healing work, you know, it's facing your shadow side, um, making peace with it, making peace with it, anything that you are struggling with in your life, making peace with that. That is, is very, very important. And all of this added up to four, which is that that's stability number. And the whole reading adds up to four. Okay, you know, because nine plus, what, yeah, nine plus four being 13, so on and so forth. Now, interestingly, when this all first added, added up together, it was, uh, came out to 31. But then, of course, with, at, um, but what was I trying to say? Yeah. No, excuse me. This here added up to, this one here added up to 31. The whole thing together added up to 13. So very interesting, especially since we have, you know, the 33 and the 60, oops, 66 here. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, some very interesting numerological stuff happening as well, especially since we have this one here, which adds up to nine and the, this reading added up to nine as well. So very, very interesting. And of course, these ones here would be adding up to nine on their own. So not surprising. So yeah, if you start really starting to dig into it and everything, you can start trusting in this magic. And that magic is you. All right. If you like this message, please hit that like button. If you like the content coming on this channel, please subscribe and also hit, hit those notification buttons so you know when new messages are, are coming out. And please share. Please, please share. Let's help keep this positivity going. All right. I love you all. Talk to y'all tomorrow.